Under the serene blanket of the night sky, a lone vessel bobbed gently on the ocean's surface. Its crew, a blend of seasoned sailors and eager explorers, gazed into the depths below, where legend whispered of a city lost to time and tide. The ship's captain, a woman of keen intuition and unyielding resolve, steered the vessel towards a coordinate whispered in old mariners' tales. The moon cast a silvery glow over the sea, as if guiding their path to the hidden wonders beneath. As the clock struck midnight, a faint glow began to emerge from the ocean's depths. It started as a mere speck of light, but gradually, the illumination intensified, revealing the outlines of magnificent structures submerged in the deep blue. The crew leaned over the railing, their eyes widening in awe. The underwater city was aglow with bioluminescent light, its buildings adorned with luminous corals and shimmering fish darting between columns and arches. This must be Aqualumina, whispered the ship's historian, his voice a mix of reverence and disbelief. The city, as if hearing its name called, seemed to pulse with a brighter light, inviting the explorers to uncover its ancient secrets. The ship anchored at the edge of the glowing abyss, and the crew prepared for their descent. Clad in diving suits equipped with lights, they entered the water, the city's luminescence guiding them deeper. As they swam closer, the city's details became clearer. Towering spires and graceful arches loomed in the water, their surfaces encrusted with colourful corals and anemones. Schools of luminescent fish swirled around them, like living constellations. In the heart of the city lay a grand plaza, dominated by a statue of a mysterious figure, holding a trident and a pearl. The explorers gathered around it, marvelling at its craftsmanship and the way it seemed to watch over the silent city. One explorer discovered a series of intricate murals depicting the city's history, a civilization that thrived in harmony with the sea, its people gifted in the arts and sciences. The deeper they explored, the more they realised that Aqualumina was not just a city, but a testament to a forgotten world, where nature and humanity existed as one. A sense of peace enveloped them, as if the city itself was sharing its tranquil dreams. In the shadowed alleys of Aqualumina, the explorers discovered homes and workshops still intact. Curious objects and tools, unlike any seen on the surface, lay scattered, holding stories of a daily life once vibrant. They came upon a grand library, its shelves filled with scrolls and books, protected from the water by some ancient magic. The texts, written in a forgotten language, hinted at advanced knowledge and wisdom. One room, glowing more brightly than the rest, drew the explorer's attention. Inside, a large crystal pulsed with a soft light, its facets seemingly holding moving images of the city's past. The explorers watched in awe as the crystal revealed scenes of joyous celebrations, intricate rituals, and a harmonious coexistence with the sea creatures. It was a glimpse into a life filled with wonder and respect for the ocean's depths. As they left the room, a sense of melancholy mixed with admiration filled their hearts. Aqualumina was not just ruins, it was a testament to a civilization that had once flourished in harmony with the sea. Further exploration led them to a magnificent hall, its walls adorned with carvings of sea creatures and celestial bodies. Here, the explorers found an array of crystal orbs, each emitting a soft, pulsating light. Upon touching one of the orbs, an explorer was enveloped in a vision of aqualumina in its prime, vibrant markets. Children playing among coral structures and harmonious gatherings under the moonlit sea. Another orb revealed the city's scholars and artisans at work, crafting marvels that merged magic with science, showing a deep understanding of the ocean's mysteries and a respect for its power. The hall seemed to be a place of learning and celebration, a central hub where the citizens of Aqualumina shared their knowledge and joy. The explorers felt a profound connection to this lost world, its spirit still alive in these echoes of the past. As they reluctantly prepared to leave the hall, a sense of purpose filled them. They knew these stories needed to be shared with the world above, a tribute to a civilization that had mastered the art of living in harmony with the sea. As the explorers ascended back to the surface, their hearts were heavy yet hopeful. They carried with them not only memories, but also a responsibility to share the story of Aqualumina with the world. Back aboard their ship, they gathered under the starlit sky each sharing their own experiences and the emotions the city had evoked. They spoke of the beauty, 
the harmony and the profound wisdom they had witnessed. The ship's artist, inspired by the city's magic, began sketching the scenes they had seen. Each drawing was a tribute to the enchanting underwater world, a bridge between the forgotten city and the modern world. The captain charted a course back to civilization, her mind swirling with plans to bring Aqualumina's story to light. She knew that their discovery could change how humanity viewed the ocean's mysteries. As the ship sailed towards the horizon, the explorers understood that Aqualumina was more than a city. It was a reminder of a harmonious existence with nature, a legacy that should inspire generations to come.